Hi everyone, it's Sarah and Violet Hello. from Food Fun Waukesha. Um, Violet actually gave me this idea. Oh, Laddie, go be quiet. <laughs> um, Violet gave me this idea because we've never actually done it before and we're super excited. We've already tried it. I'm going to show you guys what we did. Can you guess? Can you guess? <gasps> it's funnel cakes. <laughs> so those are our test ones, uh, but I'm going to let Violet explain to you exactly how we made these. So. Um, so we started with the recipe and we mixed it all in the KitchenAid mixer. Um, and you don't have to use the mixer, you can just do it by hand because it's a pretty thin um, consistency. We ended up adding in more sugar just because it was a little bit, like it wasn't sweet enough even with the powdered sugar, but mm -hmm. it's turning out good. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll link the recipe below, and like she said, we added more sugar to give it more of that fair feel. Um, as you can see, I'm just here for the food. Um, but this, like I said, it was Violet's suggestion, and we're doing this because the Waukesha County Fair is coming up. So the dates of this year's Waukesha County Fair are July 21st through the 25th at the Waukesha County Expo Grounds. Near and dear to my heart, love working at the fair every year, being a part of it, volunteering my time. My family enjoys going to it and having fun. So. We got oil. Um, it's actually a moil, uh, a moil, a mixture of oil and Crisco. I didn't have enough regular oil, but we did a mixture in there. And then we're using a spray uh, condiment bottle, or really a squirter bottle, I guess, um, to put the mix in there. So you got to get your oil nice and hot. It's at 375 degrees. So Violet's going to pour one in, and we're going to, with the magic of letting you guys see it, we're going to see how this goes. So. So you know your oil is hot enough, you can take a little chunk just to put a little bit in there and as soon as it starts floating up like that. Yep, awesome. And our oil is nice and hot, it's bubbling away. I think you guys can see that on camera. So a couple of highlights of this year's fair, I'll give you the rundown of the music acts. So we've got Sawyer Brown, Rat, Collective Soul, and Kentucky Headhunters. That's on the main stage. But there are tons of bands, Bella Kane, um, 10 Feet Tall, uh, Kings of Radio, those are all on like the side stages and stuff. So there's a lot of great things happening there. Obviously all the agricultural exhibits that make a fair a fair and then the, the hardworking kids with their exhibits of like photography and knitting and robotics and all sorts of stuff like that. So food vendors, rides, games, everything's back. And then this year's big show is the Lumberjack Show um, and it's happening every single day. Um, there's like uh, the um, lumberjack duel where they're on the log together and they're trying to kick each other off. Um, I think they climb up large poles, they do axe throwing, like it's, it's a really good show. I've seen it before. So glad that the fair brought it back. It was a huge attraction a few years ago and it's great to have it back. Let's give that a flip and see how it goes. So you just scoop underneath it and just flip it over. It's getting a nice golden brown. The, the recipe that we're following says three to five minutes, but I feel like that's a little bit too long. Maybe their batter, their squirter bottle had a larger hole, so it was gonna put it out fatter, but we obviously want it to still be soft on the inside and not just crunchy all the way through. So we're waiting for it to get that nice golden color. So it's just kind of watching it, eyeballing it. Um, if you don't have a skillet like this to make it, you could obviously just make it by heating up the oil in your stove. Just make sure that, you know, if you have a gas stove that the oil doesn't all of a sudden start to get too hot and go over. So I used my candy thermometer that I have to kind of check on the temperature of things. So let's give it one more twist or flip and see how it looks. Awesome. I think that one's looking good. So let's pull that one out. We're going to put it on a pan and powder sugar for you guys. Awesome. And then we just have, I just have this tiny little like powder sugar sifter, um, my little tiny sifter, and she's just going to put some fresh powder sugar on the top. I love when the powder sugar is fresh on top of it because it kind of melts into the grease a little bit. So that one is looking good. Here's our funnel cake. Um, a warning on the recipe. The recipe that we followed is going to make a ton of these. So we're either going to dump it out or we're going to eat funnel cakes for about a week because um, there's a ton, but why don't we pour another one in there and get that going. Got a few more things to say about the fair. So in addition to the things that I've already mentioned about the fair, um, there's the demo derby um, happening in the Action Center. They've got truck and tractor pulls on a few days. There's just so much to do. There's entertainment on five different stages. Do you want to go? Do you want to go maybe for free? I've got tickets to give away. Um, I've got a family four pack. So that's two adults and two youth tickets to get you guys into the fair. So how do you win them? Comment on this video, what's your favorite fair food? That's what we want to know. So funnel cakes, that's always something that I talk about every single year. I don't necessarily get one every single year, but I definitely smell them when I'm walking throughout the grounds. Um, and it's just, it brings me back to when I was a kid and I even went to like my local church festival. They had them there. So 
share with me what your local favorite fair food is and you could win the four pack. So July 21st to the 25th is the Waukesha County Fair and I've got a family four pack if you comment with your favorite fair food. So two adult, two youth tickets. So we'll definitely be at the fair. I'll be at it most of the days. Um, my family's gonna go on other days when they have time and they can go, um, but we're so excited that fairs are back and it's happening and it's gonna be good and it's gonna be so much fun and I'm gonna eat all the fair food because I've missed it for the last year. So I will share again, like I said, the recipe for making these funnel cakes, um, but we're having fun with this. House does smell a little bit like oil, so you might wanna choose to do it on a day where you can have your house vented. I'm gonna turn on the exhaust fan as soon as this is over, but it was gonna be a little loud. So. Um, thank you, Violet, for this suggestion. Um, we gotta try it now. So you gotta take a bite out of that one. I'm gonna take a bite out of this one. We're gonna cheers to the fair. <laughs> cheers. Mmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have powdered sugar on your face, you can't even like believe that you actually ate it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's crispy, it's yummy in, in the middle. So hope to see you guys all out at the fair and see you guys soon.